we're here with Bleeding Fingers music, including... Russell, Russell Emanuel. Hendrik. Giovanni Rios. All right. And uh, how did you get involved in this production? Good question. Um, uh, we, um, the, the guys reached out to us just randomly, actually. Uh, well, it wasn't randomly for them. They actually were targeting us. Um, but we'd never heard of it before. We'd never heard the project. And uh, it was a very pleasant surprise. Um, but they, yeah, it was a, just a call, the incoming call, the old way. All right. And uh, so uh, uh, what, what's your uh, uh, position with the, with the music business? Well, okay. So these guys are composers. Okay. They're composing the score. I'm the score producer. So essentially I get to take all the credit. They get to do all the hard work. All right. So I'll ask. All right. Oh, wait, wait. We're going to forget about this guy for a while. All right, sir. Uh, Mr. Rios, yeah? Okay. Uh, what, uh, what do you draw upon to, to score this particular uh, piece here? Drop on meaning. What, what, what inspired you? What inspired us? Um, well, a lot of things. I mean, the, the, the visuals, the animation, everything in this show is super intriguing and super interesting. Um, and it, they, the team really lets us really just be super creative. And honestly, everything, everything that we can, you know, get in our hands, it's it's inspiring because we have, you know, an array of like palettes that we can, you know, use. So, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things that you know really inspire us. Uh, what kind of, so what kind of uh, what kind of approach what kind of uh, soundtrack are we going to see here in the series? So um, if I may add on to the first question, I think the first and most intriguing part about the show is the fact that the fans can influence it, just as we saw. Really? Yeah, in the panel, we didn't get to go to the panel. Watch the panel and then come right back. So it's it's like like a live interaction with the fans. They can influence where you know the story is going and and all of that. And I, and I think that is really interesting about the show, first of all. And then, second of all, what you can expect. I would say a lot of really cool sounds. <laughs> really, so. what, 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 what genres or styles are you, draw, are, are, are you using or drawing upon to, uh, to score this? So we're doing something called circuit bending, where we basically take old video consoles like Game Boys, um, all kinds of stuff, and we manipulate it in a way to create sounds and implement that into the score. And if you want to add yeah, on yeah. to that. And in terms of genres, I mean, it's, it's basically soundscapes and like it's really ominous, really dark. So we get into, you know, different routes, you know, from rock to, to, to you know, subtle soundscapes. And, and it's, it's, it's all over the place, but it's a cohesive and, and, and very cool um, music that we're trying to trying to get out. Essentially, 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 creatively, this team is super adventurous. They've taken the, any shackles off us and then let us just play around. And that's very re re refreshing. They're going to hear something that's crazy weird. Nice. Uh, are there any particular nods to I existing um, video game uh, soundscapes that we can talk about? <laughs> I mean... We can't really talk about it too much. I mean, we're we're still developing sounds and we're still exploring, so there's still there's still a long ways to go. So um, we're just you know getting ready to to. I mean, ultimately the goal is to create something new and unique that you haven't heard before. Absolutely. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Awesome. I'm looking forward to, to hearing it. Thank you so much. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Take thank care. So All right. Thank you.